scariest Roblox hacking incidents. So all of these are real cases where Roblox was hacked, people's accounts were stolen, or millions of Robux was given away for free. Let's begin. Robloxity. Robloxity, okay. So Robloxity was a popular role-playing game back in 2013. All right. In fact, it was one of the most popular games on Roblox at that time due to its realistic graphics. Realistic graphics? <laughs> um, okay. Looks pretty realistic. But later in 2013, Robloxity was hacked by a group of hackers. And the hackers completely destroyed the game. Oh no. They turned things red, they spawned demons, they played loud audios and screams. Like they spawned and they also demons? put up inappropriate pictures. Oh jeez. Here's a video of how it looked like. Okay, what are we getting ourselves into? Dude, what is that? Here is another video. Oh, is that Cool Kid? Is Cool Kid the one that hacked Roblox City? After this, the game had to be closed for a month. But when it came up again, it seemed like it was all good. Until around 2017, oh, when no, the game had to again. be put down for a year because of bugs. It went up again in 2019, but by then the game had died out. And the game was constantly targeted by hackers that destroyed the game even more. Oh no. <laughs> I feel bad for the creator of the and game. And it is said that Robloxity will get hacked one more time before 2020. Yeah, I mean, it probably did Stay happen. safe out there. Thanks, Iwindell. I want to see if that game is still around. Let's see. Oh yeah, here it is. 27.5 million visits, but there's only one active person on there. Dude, that's so sad. Doing some more research. Yeah, the game experienced multiple hacks like throughout the years. Demons themselves being spawned in. Here's a, here's an example of the Robloxity hacked lobby. Oh, Jesus, this is another one. Oh, I don't like this. That's scary. <laughs> dude, dude, her face is literally just plastered everywhere. Oh my gosh. That's spooky. <laughs> Even the street lights and the sign. Dude, these Roblox and Exploiters need to chill. All right, so next we've got the Roblox top model incident. So reading about it, the game was hacked around the year 2015, and a lot of the game assets were, well, anime girl images. Yeah. So yeah, take a look here. This is actually in game of Roblox top model. And just to show you what it originally is supposed to look like, here you go. Dude, the game was so big, but now there's only one person there. Oh no. So yeah, this is how the game is originally supposed to look like. <laughs> Dude, this person's so happy. There's someone finally here playing my game. So yeah, going back to the incident, lots of textures were replaced with this anime girl. <laughs> but yeah, if you read the text up there, the anime fools. <laughs> Tears are delicious. Mm, okay. I like how he sounds so evil, but then it's just like this anime girl here. <laughs> if anything, I think it just enhanced the server. Uh, but yeah, things actually took a turn because it went from anime girls to, uh, well, this thing right here. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, textures went from anime girl to all fire and complete darkness. I don't know why I find it funny. I, I just feel bad for all the people who were probably scarred from playing this. Let's go back to the anime girls. And so, you know, the mysterious part of it all was that the hacker was actually never found. Okay, so this next one's a bit weird for me to talk about. It's the, uh, it's the inappropriate exploit. Uh, pretty much in 2018, someone was able to bypass Roblox protection system in order for inappropriate content to occur. A mother actually found her daughter witnessing the contents and took to Facebook. This incident actually made a lot of news and Roblox issued an apology and also banned the exploiter. Okay, next up we got the Little Devil's Daycare incident. I'm going to let Riz, Jaden explain it. Roblox games? That got hacked. Okay. Little Angels Daycare. Back in 2017 when this game was at its peak, it was hacked by multiple people and completely yep, yep. taken over. The entire game name was actually changed to Little Devil's Daycare. And that when you true. entered, <laughs> everything you would see would be completely on fire. And the thing is, if you stay long enough, a jump scare would actually appear. Yeah, that is <laughs> Oh my god! get so many oh. unsuspecting players. But fortunately, oh. the hackers eventually did get banned from Roblox, and nothing has really been heard from the same hackers ever since. Could he have given us a warning or something? I scared my dog. But yeah, Little Angel's Daycare was hacked. You'd instantly see avatars with dead written over the avatar. And also there was just random screams across the map as well. Most famously, the Jeff the Killer jump scare that would happen after a minute of being in the game. All right, next is the Meep City hacking incident. Meep City. All right, Roblox games that got hacked. What do you got, I went down. So in 2020, Meep City was hacked by a user by the name of Tob Erz 93. Oh, that was and he completely this? destroyed Meep City. When you joined Meep City, you would hear super loud sounds. And when you tried to leave, Tobbers93 would let you leave. Okay. This yeah. is an example of how it would look like when you left. Oh, please, no jump scares. Oh, okay, so they're making text appear for everybody's screens. That's funny. Okay, yeah, I think I remember seeing this. <laughs> okay, yeah, I remember this actually. And then the loud noises. Yeah, I remember that too. 
This scared a lot of people. Yeah. And he also made people dress up like Adolf. Wait, what? And he did much <laughs> Wait, more. Wait, did that? After this, Tabur's 93 oh my was gosh. bad. But people say that Tabur's 93 will return and he will hack Meep City or even Brookhaven. Let's hope that doesn't happen. Yee. Stay safe out there. Okay, well, let's look into it. So yeah, we've talked about Tubers 93 before, but there's actually a lot to uncover, and it's just a lot of things that I'm still finding out about. Uh, but yeah, first of all, it's not just one person. It's actually a group of them, and they've actually talked with Creekcraft in the past before. Hello? Hello? Hello. Hello. What's up, Creek? Hi. Listen, Creek, I want to tell you something, all right? Both the accounts were us, and everything else was us. So yeah, they've been hacking and exploiting Roblox since, like, 2018. At one point, Tubers93 actually created an obby that granted you free Robux if you completed the course. Okay, he just finished the obby here, and... So yeah, it says here, you're kicked from the game. Check your account for the rogues. It might take a few seconds. Uh, but yeah, it seems like the group actually gave away 100,000 Robux. It's funny reading the comments on this video. Let's hope that doesn't happen. Everyone else. I hope Tubers93 returns. All right, next we got Team Cool Kid. So yeah, pretty much they would join servers and replace textures with disturbing images, most notably of Mario for some reason. <laughs> Hello, dear. <laughs> what is that? I like how that person is just still trying to role play. <laughs> uh, but yeah, they're pretty well known with creating the whole cool GUI, which, which pretty much allowed them to hack servers and see how he turns this innocent looking game into, uh, well, this thing. Um, the group was incredibly popular and ran for a solid two years before it was finally shut down by Roblox. Okay, so the next is the April Fool's hacking incident. Let's take a look. A trapped. Caleb to 44 and Alernate. Okay, Actually, yeah, these are the hackers Alernate who did the first hacking. So a trap hacked the blocks in April Fool Day 2012. He hacked admins, he hacked players, and he unbanned hackers. Actually, it was Alernate who did the first hacking, but let's go ahead and continue. He also gave people million off Robux for free. That is and true, they did more. ruin the Roblox economy. You might have seen this face before. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, it was Itrapedwo uploaded it to Roblox but it later got removed. Yep, here is yep. a Roblox admin who get hacked. Yeah, I remember reading about that. And here is a hacker who got unbanned after three years. Yeah, they were unbanning a lot of people. I remember reading about that. After that, it trapped was banned, and he might have been Roblox's most dangerous hacker. Okay, so this video is kind of right, except it wasn't really iTrap that did the first hacking, it was actually Elernate. So yeah, on April 1st, Elernate got into some test servers and got access to an admin account and gave himself and his friends admin access as well. They would change the Roblox banners as well as give away tons of Robux and lower items in the Roblox store. That iconic sea face, while it's not available today, you can still see it and look, it says Roblox. A little bit of history there. Do you guys like Roblox hackers? Honestly, I think they make the game more interesting, but yeah, this whole incident was real and I do cover it in my previous video so make sure to go check that out all right don't forget to subscribe goodbye